Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm just curious um, if I could get a little more detail. Why why are we deferring a payment? We're, we're shifting, and and I I want to make sure that uh, that I can explain this clearly. Mr. Viswanathan. Yes, these are um, deferrals uh, often uh, have happened before by the state uh, when we are in circumstances similar to what we are today. When it comes to the specifics of how these will operate, I'll turn it over to my colleague, Jessica Holmes. So then, could you define deferral? Is this a loan? Ms. Holmes? Thank you, Mr. Morlock. So the way that the deferral works is Generally speaking, there would be an apportionment provided to schools and community colleges in the month of June. So this, this month in particular, towards the end of the month. And what we are proposing in order to allow the Proposition 98 guarantee to be funded at its minimum level um, is we're proposing to have that payment go out at the beginning of um, a June to July deferral. Um, and in this case, it's very similar to that. Ms. Holmes, you froze just for a moment. So just restate that last section of your answer, please. I apologize. Um, this is very similar to what we would otherwise, you know, call a June to July deferral. So we're just providing the same payment that we otherwise would have provided, but in July instead of June. So if I were to go back to prior years, I'd see similar movements. So this is not something new or unique, just because Mr. Viswanathan said this, we do this in these kinds of economic conditions, I'd, I'd like to be assured that we do this every year. We don't do this every year, but we, ha we did do this several times during the last recession. Mm -hmm. So it's, okay, then I'll, I'll leave it there. Thank you, Madam Chair.